Yo, what's up, everyone? My name is Dave, and you suck at programming. All right, today we're going to talk about simple I/O redirection in Bash. All right, what is I/O redirection? Well, let's talk about a really simple command: echo high. What did that do? It printed high to the screen. What if we echo high and we redirect it to dev null? Didn't print anything. Why? Because of I/O redirection. We told it that the echo command, its standard out, should be set to dev null and not to the controlling terminal, so we don't get any of the output. Why is that useful? Well, we can do some magical things. We could redirect this instead of to a file, we could rec or redirect this to an open file descriptor. We could write this to standard error. This still shows up on our terminal, but this is interesting because what if we grep for high? Well, that should show up, right? I mean, high is in the output. Grep returned an error, though. The word high showed up, but grep returned an error. Isn't that interesting? What if we grep for foo? High still showed up. That clearly doesn't match foo. So what's going on here? High is never making it to the grep command because high is going to standard error. It's being written to the terminal. It is not going through the pipeline. The only thing going through the pipeline is standard out, which in this case is nothing. So that's why grep is failing. Grep's not finding any of those patterns because nothing's making it through. Let's talk about how this can get more complex. I have a simple program for you, and this program is called program. There are four echo lines in this program. These two are functionally the same. Echo, this goes to standard out. It doesn't have anything at the end of it. This one also goes to standard out, but it redirects to file descriptor one. File descriptor one is standard out on a standard Unix machine. Let's go down here. What happens here? This one goes to standard error. Why? Because we're redirecting it to ampersand two, standard error on a standard Unix machine. What we're doing here is we're going to creating a new file descriptor. We're creating file descriptor three and we're duplicating it. So it's going to point to what file descriptor two points to. So this also goes to standard error. We wrote it to three, but it's going to go to standard error. Let's run this program. Is this any useful? Let's see. So we ran the program, we get four lines here. We get this goes to standard out, this also goes to standard out, this goes to standard error, this also goes to standard error. So let's pipe grep for this. Hey, that looks right, right? The word this shows up four times and we found it four times and grep didn't return an error. The output's a little out of order, standard error showing up first, that's interesting. So what's going on? Well, the same thing as the example before. If we grep for foo, you can see that standard out is filtered out, but standard error is not filtered out. That's because standard error is not going to the grep command. We can change this though. We could redirect everything to, let's say, two greater than ampersand one. This redirects all standard error to standard out. Now we can grep over everything. And as you can see, nothing shows up, which is good because foo is not in the output. This is in the output and it will show up four times, which is exactly what we want. And this makes perfect sense. Uh, a couple more complex examples you can do with this. You may have seen something like this where someone's like, well, what if I wanted to throw out the standard error and keep the standard out, that's classic. You can just do two greater than dev null. And we threw out all the errors and we only kept the output. Some people want to do the opposite. What if you want to keep the standard error, but throw out the standard out? Well, okay, let's see. Let's, let's see. Let's throw out the standard out and then let's keep the standard error by redirecting it to standard out. So what's going to happen? Well, we threw out everything. That's because the order of operations matter here. We told one to go to dev null, which is standard out. And then we told two to go wherever one is going, which is going to be dev null now. So we have to do it out of order. We have to specify two go to where one currently points to and then override one to point to dev null. And if we run this, we only get the standard error because we redirected things in the right order. And there you go. That is some bash IO redirection for you.